You picked the wrong episode, my friend. This is a boring ass episode. Just, just, just go to the next one, okay? Nothing to do here. Alrighty. For those of you who accidentally left the uh, YouTube app on, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, Episode 15. I'm your host, Ultimate Jester, with the Niskel. Woo! Uh, to start things off, we'll go ahead and uh, bulk Shithy up some more. There he is. I just have to wonder, why do you say this is a boring episode? It'll become apparent when you actually watch it. No, I mean, I'm watching it right now, and it just seems like a normal fare. This is to lure you in. Okay. <laughs> so this is like a trap video? Kind of. Kind of. How dare you. So, we're gonna have to make as many puns as possible, make as many dirty jokes as we can, make as many non-sequiturs as we can, because this is gonna be kind of dull. Wouldn't that make us average YouTubers, then? I'd say we're below average. Mm, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're kind of like the Z grade, as opposed to all those A plus Cinnamon Toast Ken, uh, the, who else? Jack Septic Eye, you know, the big leagues. I'd say we're about uh, H rank, maybe. That's, that's yeah, fair. Yeah, that's I, can, fair. I can see that. Because Z grade is like a guy taking a bath in shit, you know? <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're at least above camcorders, right? We, we at least know how to uh, record audio and visuals. Even then, that's like S-grade. <laughs> so, wh oh my god, what do you consider, like, Y-grade or, like, X-grade? You know, why don't we just stop talking about that and get to the matter at hand? Well, I'm just thinking, you said it was going to be boring, so I kind of want to spice it up. What do you consider but terrible? Can but can we not go to... Well, actually, I said we should go for it, so... Okay, fine. Let's not go to the major extreme. Let's talk about story. Why, why don't we talk more like about what Q is? <laughs> uh, maybe that's uh, a day one LP. There we go. Or maybe we should talk about what's beyond Z grade. There's a level beyond Z? It's like question mark grade? Yeah, haven't you heard of uh, this obscure Dr. Seuss book called On Beyond Zebra? Or On Beyond Z or whatever? No, it's on, I think it's on Beyond Zebra. Well, you've heard about it, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I don't know if it's obscure or not, but... Yeah, I was a yeah, it's, kid. A, it's about, about just making up uh, letters that just go after Z. It's just like, oh, a Z? That's all? Let's fucking make more! <laughs> well, that was, like, the whole point of Dr. Seuss. If there wasn't a word to rhyme, he'd make it up. So I'm gonna guess, um... A non-dramatization and literal reenactment of the newborn scene from a Serbian film would probably be Schnicklauf grade. <laughs> Spell it. Uh, all right. S H I Y G X J K N U A apostrophe. Ah. Greater than symbol? Mm-hmm. Setsubo. Oh, jeez. Oh, and I mean, you could do with a couple ampersands, but no, other than that, pretty spot well, on. Well, uh, that that was a simplified uh, version, and what you did was the traditional spelling. Ah, okay, okay. I'm, I'm a little old-fashioned myself. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you know, a nationalist of my country would uh, definitely, uh, de definitely be upset. And. Uh, can I break our lovely little, uh, little play here to say that this part is absolute bullshit? Mmm, how so? Because you're certainly around shooting stuff. Find a way out of the maze, huh? Um, okay, how do we do that? A maze uh, level. It's not even that, it's just a circle. It's just a circle. It's all it is. Turns out you have to shoot this box, uh, kind of hop up here, yes. and oh, what's this? It's the jet engine! So oh, a hover? double jump. Hover? What? That's the way out. Okay, so... But, but when you get the Vulcan Cannon upgrade, there's a faster way, so... Okay. Oh, I was just thinking, it, kids game, Fuck. right? I mean, they need to find their way out of a maze. You give them the character with a stilted jump in the first place, Mm, not my first pick. Well, this is the Lost Colony. This is, like, Eggman has been the first human here in, like, 50 years. No, that, that doesn't mean he has to lose his way. A Lost Colony means it hasn't been seen in a long time. It's been lost to the world. Not you actually been. getting lost. 
Yeah, well, it, it, it represents all the senses of loss. Look, all the lights are off. Every other time you come in here, all the lights are on. You, you hear that music? It sounds very, very empty and alone. It's just, just very isolated, you know? Uh -huh. Egg Eggman's coming here to turn the lights back on. It's lost, but he's found it, and he gets a little lost himself, but then he gets found again! You totally lost me, dude. Yeah. Are we gonna have to reenact scenes from Lost? I'm sorry, I've never watched Lost. <laughs> neither, neither did I, so I didn't have any reference. Oh, there's a golden guy! Dad, that funny. <laughs> you watch any TV shows? Like, uh, me from, without from cable? No, from not your review me. Well, do you have, like, Netflix or anything? Oh, uh, yeah, I got Netflix. What do you watch? Mmm. I haven't watched a lot recently. Probably the last thing I watched was I started Breaking Bad in uh. the year 2016. <laughs> hey, I haven't seen it either, so don't feel bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm not alone. Uh, so, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers just recently won. Good job, uh, King LeBron James. What the fuck did I tell you about dating episodes? <laughs> Uh, it's a little Did bit you of learn nothing. Did you learn nothing? Uh, apparently not. Which means now, when we do the Super Mario Sunshine episode after this, I'm gonna have to <laughs> fucking date that one too. <laughs> I'll just be talking about some shine spray, and you'll be like, "So about that Cavaliers game?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got something in mind for you. Don't you worry. <laughs> Don't you fucking worry about that, mate. <laughs> it's on. So Steam sale going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, this level's boring as shit. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh, that's just nice. Oh, so what do you got on your desk right now? Um, uh, kind well, of a recreation of what we're looking at here. I've I've got a list of movies I want to go see one day. Uh, oh, hey, look. Oh. Ooh. I've got this- I've got this cool-ass screen cleaner. One side's a brush, one side's like this, uh, weird oh. little Velcro sides. Dude! Sounds pretty cool. I'm just thinking, I don't know how it got here, but for some reason I've got some WD-40 on my desk? But, uh, also, it's also right next to my copy of Deadpool, so I don't know what I was thinking. Alright. Level's over. Alright. God, we're not even halfway done! Nah. Hmm, that wasn't so difficult. Well, that wasn't so difficult. Oh, hey, at least we got the Eggman stage out of the way, right? That right. that that stage is done. All right, twenty-four emblems. How many we got to go? Oh god, that's a lot. Woo woo! Hundred uh, percent run. Well, let's go ahead and uh, feed uh, little Shithy, because really, Shithy is the only saving grace. For those of you who stayed this long, you get to be with Shithy with this weird jelly bean of a man. <laughs> Break it down. You know how uh, when you melt peeps in the microwave, they're like really poseable and everything. It's it's like somebody did that with Eggman. It's like he used to be one of those chick peeps, but then somebody like stretched out arms and legs. It's more like one of those fucked Gumby, and this was the result. <clears throat> oh, a combination of Gumby and a melted peep. Oof. Gum peep. Oh, they, I bet you anything there's a market for it. I'm sure. And, not, and Mega Man here is the market. Fat, bald, sweaty guys who take care of digital gigapets. And before you say anything, I'm not bald. Jesus Christ! Okay, so, uh, out of my morbid curiosity, uh, Gumby Rule 34, it exists. Well, you know what I gotta do now. Uh, at least use the second image, or at least the image I might send to you. It's Gumby kissing Korra. Uh-huh. And, uh, well, that's that's certainly a thing that uh, people want to do. Oh, okay. my. Oh, the internet sucks sometimes. Okay, send me that image. I'll yeah, use that okay. one, too. And then I'm going to use my image. That's probably going to be way, way more fucked up. All censored, no links, fuck off. Deji May. <laughs> You're not- you're not getting to see any of that nasty shit. What the fuck's wrong with no, you, Digimate? You're actually... supposed to be the good chow for fuck's sake! <laughs> I was just thinking somebody's actually gonna ask you. They're, they're gonna be like, hey, uh, dude, wh where can I find a link? It's like people asking me for links the for, Phoenix, like, Hinako Phoenix or Drive. Phoenix Drive. Yeah. Oh, people still ask me for that, to this day! 
you know where you can get it? Alright, G-O-A-T-S-E dot C-X. I've been waiting <laughs> for you, Doctor. That's uh, where you get Phoenix Drive! Penisland.com. Uh -huh. What the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. Plot, 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 plot. Was the first plot, plot. Ah, plot, yes. Plot. Professor Gerald. Know that the he used to live in the Bronx with his friend named Arnold. Where weapons of mass destruction <laughs> were being created. This is oh, he's getting struck down by Helga. You think that Gerald Robotnik was pestered so by a similar rodent? Cannon. Hmm. Destroying an entire like, planet. Another hedgehog or something? This, oh, I can't even fathom oh, another hedgehog. It's been the classic Sonic. Deactivate it. <laughs> think, think about it, Sonic Generations. That not, that's not another Eggman out of time. Necessary. That's just Gerald Robotnik. Oh, so that's so that's your theory. People were we were calling Robotnik. Uh, so so maybe when uh, when Eggman came so overseas during the the Great Immigration, they had to change his last name to Eggman, exactly. and that makes a lot more sense than just you know cultural differences. The old quote unquote beta of Metal Sonic is just Shadow in a mech suit. Then you have the Dude, power of destruction to you know I'm, I'm I mean look kind of all for that. I think uh, Robotnik had a young girl in the Sonic movie or something in the nineties. There was a 90s Sonic movie? Oh my god. Yeah, there was! <gasps> oh, it was an animated one, wasn't it? Yes, it was! I hope it was! <laughs> Live action Sonic movie? No! No! <laughs> oh, hold on, I gotta look that up. I think I know what you're talking about, but I, at least I need to see it. It kinda had like the Sonic Boom look to it. I'm sorry, the Sonic CD look to it? I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's like, what, what the fuck are you Whoa, talking about? Excuse me! This is what I'm talking about. This, that, that right there, that. Oh, got it. Yeah, I remember that. That was like that was before the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, wasn't it? Uh, I think. N at least around no. the same time. No, I think it was. Post tax. You've been helpful so far. What do you got? Thank you. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> So, uh, okay, so I googled Sonic Animated 90s, and uh, an image of Street Sharks showed up. <laughs> so, uh, That's not... It... <laughs> oh, I, I think Sonic was the name of one of the sharks. <laughs> it's like the Hammerhead Shark. Oh. Yeah, we got, uh, we got Riptor, Slamu, uh, um, uh, and, and the other two sharks, and one of them was named Sonic, sure. So if you didn't see that, Rouge teamed up with Eggman and Shadow. Ah, oh, to get the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, that, there's a place where they can just get three Chaos Emeralds all in one go. Bing, bang, bong. Just like that. Oh, it's, so, in the, it's in the military base? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, wouldn't that be awkward if Goku had to break into a military base in order to steal three of the Dragon Balls? Oh, dear lord, he's back! He just blew open the doors! We will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a oh, chance Oh, sorry, guys. Those Dragon Balls belong to the U.S. Army. Huh? No, they belong to everyone. That's why I'm taking them for me. <laughs> and then Frieza comes in, starts killing all the army guys, and they're like, Here, take the Dragon Balls. <laughs> God, for some reason, I want to see that. So, uh, after that Eggman level is another Eggman level! Are you kidding me? Yep, another Eggman level. Back to the non sequiturs. Let's go! But at least this was a bit more interesting because we have a lot of things to target on. Oh, wow. <laughs> the ultimate destruction. You can get some high scores if you time everything just right. Dr. Francine also... Eggman. <laughs> oh, wow, that is a lot of targeting. Yeah, but <laughs> the thing is, it only, it only counts up to a certain point, though. Uh, I actually didn't think the Dreamcast could count that high. It's the GameCube. But the Dreamcast can do it too. See, t 23, that was way more than I got last time, and yet I still got the same amount of points. So you have to split them up a little bit, and make sure you keep, and if you do it right, you can get perfect 2,000 extra points twice. And that'll really help you for the A rank. Oh. So now I got the power up, I can break steel crates, now I can break steel crates, and there we go. Uh, so I'm gonna shoot these steel crates so I can't get over the wall, and ah, shit. <laughs> Wait, 
<laughs> Did they just do a bombing run on you? Yeah, they kind of missed. <laughs> God, this army sucks! This is a very, very... Uh, diametric opposite from the last level. No kidding! Things are actually attacking you! It's bright, and it's terrifying, for one. <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's not subtle at all, it's just... the army coming to kill your ass. I could just see that order from the president. Eggman's busting shit up. Kill him. Quick. Finally. We, we don't know what he's going to do. He might have a giant cannon to blow up the friggin' moon. Who cares? Bomb that son of a bitch. <laughs> order just, of national uh... security. Eggman's <laughs> buying groceries. Evil groceries. Uh, camera. Hello. Camera. Ca thank you. There we go. Oh, you're just destroying million dollar jets. Yeah, no wonder we're in a uh, we're in a financial slump here in the U.S. Well, yeah, we got all these expensive toys. We're just keeping around on aircraft carriers, probably because they looked intimidating. They I mean they're not operational, but they still cost millions of dollars to use. Look, look at this. You know how much a fucking stealth bomber costs to make, and they're just <laughs> leaving them here. I I could just see. It's like they finally just instated this. Like a bill finally passed to have an aircraft carrier in the middle of the ocean for attacks that uh, that the normal army can't even begin to understand. And then there's this guy, and a giant doofy-looking walker just comes and obliterates everything, <laughs> laughing all the way, going, ah, I'm doing this for fun! The UN is having a fit! <laughs> they're, they're, they're calling up all the foreign countries, going, Send help! Quick! We are dealing with one guy! He looks to be of uh, American descent, although his, ex his name... Uh, suggests that he might be of either Russian or Ukrainian descent. Yeah, and then the and then the finger pointing starts. They're like, "Okay, who sent him? Who sent this evil genius?" Starts World War Three somehow. <laughs> like, like, you know, okay, we may stop the eclipse cannon, but the damage has already been done. No, the I've moon is the moon is gone. Okay. No, I've just been thinking that's before the eclipse cannon. Like, this war is all started, and then he says, You'll all have to band together to beat me in my moon destroyer! Yeah, yeah, no way. I, I, I can tell you, it's every man for their superior self. <laughs> Just giant superpowers. See, that's when all the nukes launch, and all, all of a sudden we have zombies, but everybody in this universe tends to survive. And we tie it into the Fallout series. There you go. That's how you ruin everybody's fun. Mm, yes, there we go, tying Sonic the Hedgehog to Fallout. I love it. Yeah, I could do game theorist bullshit, no problem. <laughs> Apparently. Did you know that, that Sonic 2 is related to the Kennedy assassination? <laughs> Was Sonic the, the cause of JFK and Abraham Lincoln's death? <laughs> is Amy Rose John Wilkes Booth? Prove that Mario's corpse is in an early Sonic build. Why wasn't Luigi in Mario 64? Because he was dead! Looks like there was supposed to be a seventh character in Sonic Adventure! Could it have been Cloud? Turns out Final Fantasy 7 was Chrono Trigger 2, but cancelled! Final Fantasy 7, seven 7th story, 7 out of 10 on the Dreamcast, confirmed! Is Zack from Crisis Core secretly Chrono? Find out today on today's Game Theory! See, when I think about game theory, that's not what I think about. I think about uh, conveyance in a level and, 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 and all that stuff. And, you know, actually intelligently bringing your level out so that way the player is having fun. And fun was not what we had today. I'm sorry it was so boring. So, hey, see you next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2! <laughs>